We're heading into the Halloween okay. week, and everyone wants to know, what's the weather going to be like? Is it going to yeah. rain on Halloween? And you kind of have time this out for Yes, us. and guess what? There's some really good news as it looks right now. You know how I've been saying it looks like it's going to speed up a little bit more? Well, it's sped up even more. Forecast models now are showing it coming in even faster, which means that we're still getting doused, but we could clear it out just in time mm. for the trick or treat. Oh. So I hear my some, hopes are going up yes, even higher. I hear some people going, woo! -hoo. <laughs> yes, so, you know, keep your fingers crossed. This continues to pan out. It doesn't mean that we're going to be able to escape a stormy weekend, though. We are definitely going to be dealing with the rain, uh, probably the heaviest rain that we have seen all season long. So, one to two inches for the valley. Some areas will likely see more than that. Uh, two to four for the coast, same thing there. There will be some areas that could see a little bit more than four inches, and then four to eight inches. Uh, for the mountains. The winds are going to crank up. You'll notice that starting tomorrow. Strongest winds hold off until Saturday, though, and that's when we're going to see winds gusting for the valley 25 to even 35 miles an hour for the coast, 35 to 45. And then for the Cascades, it'll be fairly blustery, too, for you. A 30 to 40 mile an hour winds there, too. And remember that cold front I showed you? That's going to sweep through uh, Saturday. So by Sunday, we're going to see those snow levels lowering. And so we're going to be looking at some light snow amounts, but some snow all the way down to about 4,000 feet, which would put it right at past level. So what's going on right now? Still all quiet. Today, really the calm before the storm. Uh, you can see some light rain trying to develop just off the coast and that will sweep through. So we may see a few sprinkles overnight and uh, temperatures will continue to take a dip. But, but remember, we're tapping into this really deep moisture that has tropical origins. And so before the cold front moves through, temperatures are going to stay fairly mild. So look at this. We're still at 60 in Portland and Vancouver, upper 50s for Salem. So really mild out there. You get east of the Cascades and uh, it's a different story. We're already down into the 30s in some spots. So how does it pan out for your morning commute? If you live north, it's going to get pretty messy and pretty early on tomorrow morning. So here we are at 5 a.m. and you can see that heavy rain coming in. Uh, Portland, northward, places like Salem and Eugene, this first half of the system, you may not get a whole lot out of it on Friday. By Saturday, it's going to be your turn. But Portland, uh, most of the metro area and north, we're not going to be able to escape either day. So here we are at noon on Friday and you can see those heavier showers again targeting northwest Oregon into southwest Washington, and we'll see showers on and off for a lot of the afternoon. We wrap up the day, and we're still looking at showers. It looks like we could try to clear things out uh, just in time for any evening plans with just maybe some spotty light rain around, and that's when this north, uh, warm front is going to lift to the north there, taking the heavier rain with it. Then we get to Saturday. We gear up for round two, and this is when we're going to see the heaviest heaviest rain here. So 730 in the morning, it is likely going to be a soaker for Astoria and that area, and then this uh, whole front sweeps on through. Now it looks like it's going to pass through a little earlier between the lunch hour, noon and one o'clock, and then it continues to head south and east. And look at this, by 7 p.m., this thing is really making a move and getting out of here. And so places like Salem, even perhaps down towards Eugene, uh, trying to get out of Dodge here. And so maybe we can get some dry time going for the trick-or-treaters. It'll probably be pretty muddy and pretty wet out there, obviously, but at least it won't be pouring down on the costumes as it looks right now. Then Sunday we wake up, we're still looking at lingering showers. And that's when we're going to watch those mountain snow totals start to go up a bit. And it stays fairly uh, wet around here as we go towards the early part of next week. So rain totals by the end of Friday, midnight tomorrow night. We're looking at maybe up to an inch for Portland. And look at Salem and Eugene. Again, not a whole lot for you tomorrow. But by the end of Saturday, we're looking at, again, those one to two inch totals or maybe even more. And then higher amounts for coastal areas and for the Cascades. So highs tomorrow, upper 50s and low 60s. Low 60s for I-5, 60s out east. And then for Saturday, uh, low 60s still, thanks to that warmer, moist air that will be in place by Sunday. Those temperatures start to drop. And take a look at next week. We're looking at temperatures only in the mid-50s by Sunday. Monday, low 50s, uh, down into the low 40s. And Tuesday night and Wednesday night, we'll have to watch really closely as lows will be right around 40 degrees and there's a potential we may even see that drop a little bit lower so some chilly air in store for us as we dry things out for the middle part of next week. And we're just hoping for that break Halloween night. I know and I think it may happen. I'm, I'm starting to feel more confident about it because mm. forecast models are coming into better agreement that it's going to sweep through a little bit more quickly now. So maybe after like the seven o'clock hour. It yeah well for drier. Portland if you're North Astoria people oh my gosh if you live in Astoria going trick-or-treating it looks really good for you. Portland okay. looks That's like where we're going. Too, so <laughs> just head to Astoria. We're right? heading to Astoria. <laughs> Back up the car. Here we come. <laughs>